and I'm going to recreate the GK Films intro. First, we want to make a new comp, command, command new, oh, crap. command new, name this G, and I'm going to make this NTSC DV, 15 seconds, press enter. Now I got to get some files for my, got to get the G that are separated. I'm going to import files. Element detected. Yes. What the hell? I need to get the. Okay. Now I need to get these two extruded files. Command copy and close this. Command paste. Now you're going to want to make a new camera. And then 30, 35 millimeters. The preset. Okay. Make a solid, command Y. Press OK. Make it a 3D 3D layer. And then you're gonna wanna put the elements. Now, yes. now you're going to want to go to custom text, put this in, and then put G, and then in your layers, and then go to scene setup, extrude, and you're going to want to go to your presets, materials, you know how to sir? Oh, there it is. Alright, I'm going to extrude, 5, and extrude again, go to custom path, 2, this 2, and you're going to want to extrude it to 5, enter, and then press OK, and you want to drop down the group, Change the X rotation. Change the X rotation. To one thirty six. Then go to your two second time frame. Change it to zero. Change the particle size to 5. Bring down the group 2 layer. Change the position to 430, 300, Z to 40. Let's see the size to 2.3. And now on the transform attributes, press P for position and shift F for scale. And you're going to go 150, 240, 0, 88. Make a duplicate. Go to scene setup. You're going to want to take out the bevel. Okay. Change the group two location to four twenty seven two ninety three. On the transform, change scale to one hundred. Okay, one hundred. The 206 time frame, you're gonna bring up your OK. 
capacity. Change the opacity to zero. And then go to your first second. Change it to 100. With the 3D text layer selected, go to your 300 frame and then click stopwatch. And go to your 315 and change your opacity to zero. <coughs> go to your camera, press P for position. You're going to want to change this to 700. Like 700. 200. Change it to 60. And then go to your two second time frame. Three sixty. Two forty. Six thirty six. Now we want to make a new comp. Call it searchlights. Searchlight left. Make this one four seconds. A new light. Make it white. Spot. Make a spotlight. Intensity you want to be a forty one forty five. Cone angle ten. And then cone feather forty five. No shadows. Now you want to make a, after that you want to position it, 100, 500, new camera, alright, now um, I'm going to run a script, because it has a lot of expressions, so run a script volume light ah, I gotta I gotta select the light first then run the script delete the top layer change the position of null to zero negative 100, 0, click the stopwatch, move it to the end, to the, yeah, to the end, and type in 600, or, yeah, 600 on the x-axis, press OK, and I have another one just like this that's saved, it's coming from the right side though, now you're going to want to create another new competition, call this one Films, 11 seconds long. You want to create a new solid, command Y. Make comp size, click OK. Make it do a 3D layer. Create another solid, command Y. You want to make this white. You want to use your lips tool to make a mask. Shift constraint. Bring down your masking properties. Type in 100 for feather. Now your mask expansion, you want to make a keyframe. Negative 35. And then go to your go to your 112. Type in Eight, and then go to your four second. Type in four second. You type in your negative thirty-five. <clears throat> then you want to position it. 
500. C70. Now you're going to want to create a new light. Intensity is going to be 137. 90 degrees. Some further 100. Enter. You want to bring up your position and your point of interest. Point of interest, you're going to put 376. 245, 225, position you want to put 376, 220, 0. And now you're going to want to click the position of the stopwatch, your keyframe, move to the 3 second mark, and then on your z-axis, you're going to put negative 500. And now you want to create a text layer. Films. Put films in there. Let's make this aerial narrow. Arrow and 134. Ah, let's see like that. Put that the F over the light. Press P for the position. No, no. Now I want to move the white solid above it and the ellipse right over the. Oh, and I gotta make the. Make it make the text a 3D layer. Okay. So now at the end, I want to menu final. I'm gonna put all the comps in the together. Little project. First, I'm gonna bring in the G. Then I'm gonna bring in the searchlight left, searchlight right that I made previously. And films. In the G comp, you're going to bring up the opacity. Set the opacity to zero. And make a keyframe. Go to your 15 mark. Bring up all the way. And now your search lights, you're going to press, bring the opacity also. Go to your 308 frame. 308. And make a keyframe. And go to the 4 second time mark. And bring the opacity all the way down. For films, do the same. You want to move it first to the, over here. And we're going to bring it in. Make a keyframe. I'm going to make a keyframe. That's a zero. Go to your 4 through 410 mark. And then type in 100. And render this out. And that's my presentation. And as I guess, yeah, I try to make it as close as possible as I could get, but that's what I got. And I'm done.